Hello and welcome back to Guided Hacking. This is Fresh Kane. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Sys Internals tools for malware analysis. Sys Internals tools is a suite of advanced system utilities developed by Mark Rusinovich and Bryce Cogswell and was originally an independent company before they were acquired by Microsoft in 2006. These powerful tools have become essential for system administrators, IT professionals and security analysts for diagnosing, troubleshooting and analyzing Windows-based systems. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at how you can use Process Explorer, Process Monitor, also runs SigCheck and System Monitor tools to be able to identify and analyze malicious activities on your system. And I'll show you a few neat little tricks within them. So let's get started with Process Explorer. So our first tool we're gonna to be taking a look at is Process Explorer. And Process Explorer is a very powerful tool that can be compared to something like Task Manager or Process Hacker. And exactly like those other tools, it'll show the running processes on a machine. But this tool can leverage a few more different tools that you'll find incredibly useful when analyzing or debugging malware live. So here within the main view, you can see all of the executables that are running. But then we can also click into something like this piece of malware that I just started to run. And we could check it on VirusTotal. So Process Explorer has VirusTotal built in which is super, super useful if you want to quickly check a process to see if it's malicious or not. So after you accept the terms of services, it will come up here and it'll just say hash submitted. And then it will show you that it has been detected 59 out of 75 times, but you can also click on the file and you can click on properties to find out tons and tons of properties about the file. So you can verify its parent you can see its user. You can also bring it to the front and then you can also kill the process, which is useful if you do actually have malware running and you don't want it to continuously run. It also will show you the auto start location of a binary, if it has any command line paths, and then a few other things such as its thread, which again is really, really useful. And you could check job, you can check its network, so you can see if it is calling out or if it's receiving any data, which, like most malware they'll call out to a c2 and receive something so you can always use this as an indicator as to see if your malware is calling out or not there's also such things as the security and really useful you also have strings built in so you can always use this to check out what strings are actually in the binary but you can also check what strings are running within the memory as well and last but not least, you can also check some things if it's a .NET binary or not. Luckily, the malware that I ran is a .NET binary, so I can check out certain things about it, and I can check out some of its performance and a few other things around here, such as its environment path and the environment path of the machine. So you also can find DLLs as well. You can use this tool that will just simply allow you to select a process by dragging it over a running window and you can kill a process, view DLLs that are loaded for each process, which is super useful if a DLL is doing side loading or it's importing different DLLs from the system. So let's go on to the next tool. The next tool I'm gonna to show off is Process Monitor. And this is the main view for Process Monitor. And what it's doing is it's looking at every single process and what operations it's carrying out on the system. So it's implementing a monitor and that will show you things such as registry queries or registry editing. It'll also show you file read and write on the system and all kinds of things such as networking, thread exits, and it, the list goes on and on. But what's great is if you're doing a live destination of malware, you can filter for the malware that you're running and then you can see what it's doing on the system. So in Process Explorer, we know that our malware is running as malware.exe and we could see that the PID of this is 5912. So we could filter for that by going into the filter menu of process monitor, and we could just go for that 5912 as our PID, and we can add that and we can apply, and that'll filter for everything. And we can see that the malware hasn't done too much, it's only just exited. But if I take this malware.exe and I restart it, then we can see all kinds of different activity that will come from the binary. We could see all of its different read and writes to places in .NET. It's also 
creating and exiting all kinds of different threads. It's creating files as well, such as this temp file here, which might be a download and execute. And you can always download that as well and see if it's a second stage or something of the like. If this is too much information for you, you could always filter as well. So you could just filter out all of the query values and then just exclude them. So you see less of those if that's not what you're interested in. And you can also do top down so that it also scrolls according to new operations on the machine. This is great to know what a binary is doing on your machine. Let's go on to the next tool. The next tool is auto runs. Auto runs is a tool that will query everything on the system to find automatically launched programs and services that run during system startup. As malware often uses these entry points to persist on the infected system, auto runs scans and lists all auto start locations and it makes it easier to identify any malicious entries. And it does this by cross-referencing these entries with no malware indicators so we can swiftly detect and eliminate potential threats. So you can look through these and you'll find things such as task scheduler and also a few other registry keys that might run things automatically. But a very common one and one that is used by our malware is this software current version run. And this is very common for malware to use as it can be easily edited and anything within this registry key will be automatically ran. And we can see the same file Nwama as we saw within process monitor being ran on system startup. And by viewing that, we can also see where it's located. So this is the file that will be ran. Of course, this is our malicious file. And if you wanted to, you could jump from different tools in the Sysintelo suite to one and the other so that you could check out more things. And again, we also have Virus Total built into this tool, so we can always submit it to that as well. You could also click through each one of these so that if you know what you're looking for, you'll find it separated within different views, such as instead of looking at everything, you can look at Logon, Explorer, Internet Explorer, Scheduled Tasks, and so on and so forth. If you find this super useful for malware analysis, it may be useful just to have on your personal system so that you could stop annoying things from running. Something that I usually will use this for is to stop Windows Defender from starting so that it won't detect any of the malware that I'm analyzing within my virtual machine. Anyway, that was auto runs. Let's move on to system monitor. Sysmon is a tool within the sysinternal suite that can be used to log detailed information about system activities and events, making it a really good resource for malware analysis. It operates at a low level kernel level, capturing events related to process creation, network connections, file creation modification, registry changes, driver loading, and more. But by monitoring and logging these events, Sysmon helps security analysts gain deep visibility into system behavior, enabling them to detect and analyze malware activity. Unlike Process Monitor, this runs at a much higher privilege level and looks at absolutely everything that's running on the system. So it's much more in depth and powerful than Sysmon. So if you're not finding what you need in Procmon, then Sysmon should do the job. We could just run it and install it. So this is now started. And after that, you could just leave it as it is. And then to view the logs, we just go into Event Viewer, go down to Applications and Services, Microsoft, Windows, scroll down to Sysmon. And then within Sysmon, we can view all of the events that have happened on the system. So like Procmon, we could see all kinds of different events. And we can click through these and we can see what's happening within the system. And you can also click into the details to find out exactly what's going on on the system. But let's go on to our last tool, SigCheck. SigCheck is a tool that can be used to check the integrity of binaries 
and it's really useful when you come across signed malware, which is where a code signing certificate is used maliciously to make malware seem more legitimate. And this tool comes within the sys internal suite. Like the others, it has virus total inbuilt, but the way you run it is just by calling it in a command line of sig check and then pointing it towards the binary that you want to check. And that'll tell you information and such as it is verified and that it was signed by this company or Microsoft. And then if you wanted to, you can then go and check that file. And I'm going to check notepad plus plus here on virus total so that we know if it is detected on virus total and that will be done for you within the command line. Now, obviously this is great and all of these tools are really useful, but they work best when you use them in tandem. So make sure to always use the inbuilt pivoting within the tools and then you can really make use of the full power of sys internals. I hope you enjoyed this video and until the next one, goodbye. If you enjoyed this video, a like would help a lot and subscribe to be notified of future uploads. If you haven't already, check out guidedhacking.com for a step-by-step -step introduction to game hacking and an ever-growing catalogue of content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.